and Stuck at Home. Hey Stuckers, welcome to today's challenge which is called Coding Capers. Because I'm all about the coding. And I'm all about the capers. Okay. <laughs> so what is coding, Sal? I don't know, Kim. <laughs> well, I do, but I think you'll explain it really well. <laughs> so coding is a set of instructions, usually that we give to a computer or a program, to tell it what it needs to do. And it's really simple because the computer or the robot will just do exactly what we say. So it's about writing a set of instructions that somebody or something can follow. And that's what we're going to explore today. There are lots of programs and apps out there that can teach you about coding, but a really good place to start that doesn't require screen time, Sal, is just by giving instructions for somebody to do a task or an activity on paper or just walking around. So that's what we're going to explore today. Okay, give me some instructions, Kim. Okay, here's your instructions, Sal. Face the, face the camera. Okay, I'm going to give you instructions. I'm just going to get out of the way so you've got lots of room, okay? All right. Okay. So, Sal, turn left. What about the kids that are not sure about which is their right and their left, Kim? Okay. Well, I've got a little idea. Let's come back right. here. Okay. This one works well with a lot of kids that I've taught. So if you get your left and your right mixed up, just do this with your fingers. And the one that makes the capital L is your left hand. All for left. There it is. You'll never forget your left from your right again. Okay, you ready to try again? Then? I'm ready to try again. Okay, can I get you to go over that side of the table just a little bit? That's perfect. Okay. Right. Kim's really good at giving instructions. <coughs> Bossy. Sal, mm -hmm. turn left. Take two steps forward. One, two. Turn right. Turn right. Take two steps forward. Turn left. Great. Woohoo! I followed the instructions. So challenge one for coding capers is to give a set of instructions just like we just demonstrated then to get from one part of your house to another part of your house. So I suggest you get a little whiteboard or a piece of paper and a pen and you start writing your instructions. So maybe start in your bedroom, go forward three steps and write that down. Turn right, write that down and keep writing as you walk through because that will help you especially with the left and right turns. So you write out your instructions to get from one place to another and don't, don't tell the person that you give your instructions to where they're going to end up and see how accurate... Lead them to the toilet. <laughs> see how accurately they manage to get from a starting point, see if they can find the finishing point. Challenge one. What about challenge two, Sal? Love it. Challenge two, I think you could write a set of instructions that somebody has to follow to make a shape. So, for example, you could make a square. Maybe Robot Pippi could show us. Great. Pippi, go forward three steps. Turn right. Go forward three steps. <laughs> Turn right. Go forward three steps. Turn right. Go forward three steps. What shape did Pippi make, Sal? I made a square. You could always give instructions to make a rectangle mm. and you could think of a more complex shape like perhaps think of a plus sign and doing instructions to draw the outside of a plus sign. You know what I mean? Is that, is that yeah, helping? A little bit. <laughs> that's really helpful. <laughs> a little bit like the red cross symbol or? Yes. Yeah. 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 Great. So that's uh, level two. Great. Level three is for those who want a big challenge. And that is to think about letters that you could write using coding instructions. So, so what letters do you think would be the best ones for us to have a go at? Interesting you ask, Kim. I've just written out some letters of the alphabet. This top line here, they would be the easiest ones to do the coding for. Why, Sal? Why? Well, Kim, because they only have straight lines in them, either straight up and down or left to right. There's no curves in these letters there's no diagonal lines so they would be the easiest ones then these letters there's still no curves in them but there are angles lines that are not straight up and down or straight um, across so here we are ready to give the code for our first letter I'm going to make the letter H I've got my little pig here oink, oink. really handy to have a little 
animal or a car, something that it's really obvious which direction it's facing because it's going to be our little robot. So I've written out my instructions for Piggy. I've got pen down because it's important that we know when to put the pen down and when to pick the pen up. And then forwards, right turns, pen up, forwards, left turn. Let's let's try my code with with Piggy and see how we go. Okay, Piggy, pen down right, and right. forward 10. And away we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Might need to measure that out. Then we go right turn and right turn again and it's pen up so I'm not going to draw this time. Forward five, we want to go halfway back and left turn, left turn biggie. Now pen down and five, away we go piggy. Two, three, four, five. Piggy's got a tail like Pippi. Does a bit. Are you sure that Pippi isn't a pig? <laughs> And we're going to go left turn and forward five. Away we go, piggy. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it almost looks like an H. Pen up. Now we're going to go right turn and right turn. Still got my pen up, but forward five. And now pen down. Oops, piggy's trotters are rubbing this out and forward five two three four five and congratulations piggy you've made an h our code worked that's what we needed to do that is one smart pig pug the pig there's a book called pug the pig isn't there sir it's called pig the pug pig oh <laughs> it's a pug dog called pig pug dog not a pig, pig called pug. pug okay we're gonna call that pig pug it's so cute it is cute right. So what I would do is see if you can use those letters to actually write a little message to somebody, get them to follow the instructions, the code, and mm. see what we're trying to say. Now look, if you're really good with angles and maybe some of our older kids out there will know about turning 45 degrees and 90 degrees, you could maybe try some of those trickier letters that Sal was talking about before with the, oh, with the angle oblique lines. A -okay. yes. Oblique, oblique. fancy word. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for our challenge today, Stuckers. Just a quick recap. Level one was writing a set of instructions for someone to follow, getting them from one point in your house to another. Level two was writing a set of instructions to draw a shape. And level three was writing a set of instructions for something, uh, making letters Great. or a message. All right. So Stuckers, we know that you're stuck at home, but your family is stuck with you. So try and follow instructions, even if they're bossy like Kim. Oh, stop. See you later, stuckers. See you, stuckers. <laughs> I am a robot. You need to walk me. You need to feed me. Then you need to walk me again. Then you need to feed me. And you need to pet me all day long. See you later, stuckers. Ask me. Ask Pippi. Oh. I made a square. <laughs> I don't know what your face looks like when you do Pippi impersonation. What does it look like? I, I make it <laughs> Pippi, what does your face do when you're giving instructions? <laughs>